Welcome back to the five minute reset where we turn all of our attention away from the stresses of life back into the awareness of the presence of God in us and around us. If this channel is a help to you, I hope that you will consider liking, subscribing and sharing. And today I am going to read um, from the devotional I wrote with Brian Simmons called I Hear His Whisper, 365 days, uh, 365 day devotional, excuse me. And today I'm going to read from September 23rd. It's called I Call You My Own. So before we get started with the reading, let's slow down and turn all of our attention back to the Lord. Take some slow, deep breaths at a rhythm that feels comfortable to you. Inhaling and exhaling. With every inhale, feeling his love saturate. With every exhale, Feeling those concerns melt away, releasing out of you. Remembering that he is a good father. He is kind and compassionate. He is beautiful and he is holy. And Lord, we open our hearts to you without any, without holding back in any way. Speak to us, Lord. Speak your Father heart today. He says to you, you are my precious child, sealed with a divine kiss and brought into the kingdom of light. Like all good parents, I look at you and see perfection. Let that sink in for a minute. Let that truly sink in. I see the reflection of myself in you. I see the tender musings of your heart as you lean into my strong arms. I am here for you and I will never leave. I am a good and faithful father. I am gentle and kind and know exactly how to help you grow from one stage of glory to the other. I never withhold mercy. I always provide for your needs, although sometimes you balk at the way I choose to do it. I give you my strength. I clothe you with my radiance and I made a way for us to be together forever. I am so happy to call you my own. So enjoy our conversations and the sound of laughter. There isn't anything about you that pushes me away. Even when the frailty of your human flesh is obvious, I declare you worthy, beautiful, and mine. I want to read to you before we finish from Galatians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7 in the Passion Translation. It says, So that we would know for sure that we are his true children, God released the spirit of sonship into our hearts, moving us to cry out intimately, my father, you're our true father. Now we're no longer living like slaves under the law, but we enjoy being God's very own sons and daughters. And because we're his, we can access everything our father has, for we are heirs of God through Jesus the Messiah. I hope that this has been a blessing to you and that you will stay here with Jesus a while longer.